Hello today, Grandpa here. And today's book is There's No Place Like Space. It looks like another cat in a hat kind of uh, book, Dr. Seuss. So anyway, pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Hope you enjoy it. There's no place like space all about our solar system. There's the cat in the hat. There's no place like space. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets the stars and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury Close to the sun's burning light, it is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. Oh Venus, the weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet. Earth. It spins all the time around, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. Home sweet home. The question had thing one and thing two in a tiz. Is the earth always spinning? Why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's, it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it would float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. You will sh I will show you some to you. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be so nice. 
Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, for the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. As astronomers study what's up in the sky, two thi thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets. Now here is a trick. To remember their names, just remember them quick. Mallory, Mercury, Valerie, Venus, Emily is Earth, Metza is Mars, Just, Jupiter, Served, Saturn, Us, Uranus, 999, Neptune, Pizzas, Pluto. There's 999 pizzas. Now here is a game you can play in the sky. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imagination and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion. Horus, the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small, but like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't, can't live without it. The star is called the Sun. From the Earth it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the Sun. Your eyes could get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the Sun? we just heard right this minute, a million of our Earth could f all fit right in it. A million of our Earths could fit inside her. It must be really, really big. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back t up to the stars and take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's a lot to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky. And find something that's new. There, there's the cat on the at the hat on the moon. Here's a glossary. Let's look at that. Astronomer. It's a person who studies the planets, stars, sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies. Constellation, a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky that looks like a picture. A satellite a natural or man-made object that moves around a planet. The solar system, the sun and all the planets that move around it. Telescope, an instrument that uses lenses
to make faraway objects appear closer. The universe, everything that exists, including the earth and planets and the stars and all the space. And that's it. There's no place like space. All about our solar system. Well, I hope you learned something. There, I'm in focus. <laughs> anyway, that was a good book. I really liked that one. It wasn't too hard to read. And you got to learn something, too. It's all about our solar system. Important stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Grandpa here, and he loves you. Bye-bye.